Hey everyone, my name is Maya and I am the Allergic Chick. Welcome to my channel all about living with severe food allergies. If you are new here, I post brand new videos every Wednesday evening sharing my top tips on how to deal with different scenarios when you have a severe food allergy. So if you do like my content, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell icon so that you're notified of any brand new videos that I post. So with Valentine's Day being tomorrow, I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video all about dating with a severe food allergy. And I'm gonna share my top five tips with you. So my very first tip would be to make sure that you are carrying your medication with you to your date. You should always be carrying two adrenaline pens and any other medication that you need, but I think it's particularly important when you're going on a date because you may be going to bars and restaurants and things like that. So make sure that you're always carrying your meds. So my second tip is that if you are going on a first date, it may be a good idea to suggest an alternative activity to eating out or going to a restaurant. So this is something that's completely a personal choice, but for me, um, I think first dates are already quite nerve wracking and um, filled with you know, excitement and anxiety. And the last thing I wanna do is to add another layer of anxiety of, oh God, will I be okay if I eat in this restaurant? So there are plenty of things that you can do on a first date. So for me personally, I like just going to a pub or a bar um, and talking over some drinks. Or you can suggest um, an activity such as like bowling or the cinema. There's plenty of things that you can do. There's loads of different things that you can do that don't involve food. So if you feel like this will add to your anxiety, just suggest something different. So my third tip is to make sure that you're not hiding your food allergy from your date. Your food allergy is nothing to be embarrassed about or ashamed of. And really you wanna be dating someone who is super understanding of that. So there are loads of ways to easily get it into the conversation on a first date. So ways that I've done it before is um, a date has asked me, oh, would you like a cocktail? And then I'll say, oh no, um, I don't want a cocktail, thank you, because I'm allergic to nuts and uh, there are a lot of nut liquors that are used in this bar. Or your date may ask you, would you like to go for a meal? Um, and then you can say, you know, sounds great, but do you mind if I pick the restaurant? Because I have severe food allergies. So there are loads of ways to um, easily get it into a conversation, I think. So I would say that if you're on a first date and you like this person, make sure to bring it up at some point. I've never had any negative experiences where anyone has made fun of me or been weird about it. In fact, people are usually just quite inquisitive and want to know more. So I see it as a great opportunity to educate them about allergies and my limitations. So tip number four is if later on down the line you do decide you wanna go out for a meal together, then make sure that you're really involved in the choice of the restaurant. I made a whole other video about eating out with an allergy um, that I'll link above. So make sure that you follow those tips about calling the restaurant in advance um, and checking the menus ahead of time as well to make sure that you have a safe date. And if this is like a second or third date and you've already mentioned your food allergies to your date, I'm sure they'll be super understanding as to why you may need to pick the restaurant rather than them. And if they don't understand that, they're not worth dating. So tip number five is be careful with kissing. So an allergen can remain in someone's saliva for several hours after they've ingested the food. And brushing their teeth after they've eaten the food is not always effective at getting rid of any trace of the allergen from their mouth. So I think it's always really, really important to ask a date what they have been drinking or what they have been eating. So if you have a nut allergy and your date is sitting in front of you drinking an amaretto and coke, for example, which is an almond-based drink, then you know that you're not really in a position to be able to kiss them. So always be confident to ask that person what they're drinking or what they've eaten in the last couple of hours. I can 100% promise you that it's not a mood killer and it's actually really empowering to ask someone this and then say, actually, no, I can't kiss you. And then it's definitely something they'll remember about you. It's also a way to start the conversation about it. And trust me, if they can't kiss you on that first date because of what they've eaten or drunk, they will not forget on the second date. So always, always feel confident to talk to your date about this. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, it's nothing to be ashamed of, and it's not a mood killer. Always be confident to put your health and your safety first. If they're worth it, this will never ever put them off. It's part of who you are and it's nothing to be ashamed of. So those are my top five di <laughs> dicks. So those are my top five tips on dating with a food allergy. I really hope that you found those tips useful. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel too. 
I post brand new videos every Wednesday evening. Thank you so much for watching, and if you are going out on a Valentine's Day date tomorrow evening, I hope you have a brilliant and safe time. Happy Valentine's!